and welcome to another tutorial now this particular tutorial is a request by Henry T to see how you can actually change your cover image and profile image on the same page without moving to another page so if I click on uh, change cover here it takes me to a different page where I can do that and then if I press on profile image same thing it takes me to a different page so it wants to see how we can do this all on the same page so that's very possible we can do that but I want to use uh, there are many ways to do this but I'll get the simplest way to do this uh, where we use as little JavaScript as possible all right so to begin let me explain what we will do we'll simply move this page and bring it on the profile page here so that instead of going that side we can simply do everything in here but we don't want to see that page all the time so we're going to add a trigger so that when we click change cover or change profile the page appears right here so let's see how we can actually achieve that so to start with let's open our profile.php page into our uh, text editor so let me do that here all right so there we go profile.php everything good so now let's go to the one that we use to change which is change profile image uh, that's the page so I'm going to get that one so what I want to do is collect that interface that is down here okay before we all right uh, maybe let's start with the interface so there's uh, this area right here where the form is this is the part that actually gets the file so this is what we want so it says post area here though because it's a remnant of a different page but what I want to do is copy this div style this whole div which covers the form I want that div as well so I'm going to copy everything here up to there copy and what I want to do is go to profile.php and then go down at the very top just after the header.php right here I'm going to say I'm going to add a comment here and say change uh, profile image area like so and then I'm going to paste oh before I paste that let me undo I want to put a div which I can use as the entire wrapper for this whole thing and then I'm going to paste my content there okay so let me show you what I want to do here uh, what or what we have done here so let me go back to profile.php and then I'm going to refresh the page so as you can see now we have added another section at the top here okay and then the whole page begins down here okay so let's edit a few things here just uh, to keep everything in line so the first thing I want to do is create styles for this div at the top here but before that uh, let me say here let me put a max width so that this one doesn't go too wide I'm going to put 600 pixels like this and then I'm going to say margin auto so that uh, it remains in the center of the page so let me refresh this uh -huh. so you see now uh, everything is down here and then the page begins there but we don't want it at the top here we want it in the middle of the actual page and I'm going to increase the change button there the width is too low so what I will do is right here I'll add some styles <coughs> excuse me I'll say width 120 pixels right now the important thing here I want to do is to go to the div at the top here and tell it position absolute this is the most important part that way it's not going to be at the top here and interact uh, and push everything down here so if I refresh here you see that now it's at the corner here which is pretty nice so if you want to it to appear at the corner here you can do it this way okay but I want it at the center here so what I will do is I'm going to add width here and say 100% and I'm going to add height as well and say 100% let's see what happens here and there we go so everything is in the center nice and easy but I want to black out everything behind here so that uh, because somebody can't, can't even click anything here on this side because there's that div 
the div is covering this area it's just that you can't see it because the color is transparent so let's add some background color here so that you see what's going on so if i add background color to black like so you will notice that this div at the top here is covering the entire page like this so this is what's actually happening these can be clicked down here but as you can see here, it's covering the other side so that the user cannot click. It's just that it was transparent. But we want a little bit more transparency than this, a little bit of transparency. So instead of black, we're going to put a hex value. We're going to say 0000. 000, 000, 000, 000, 000. So this represents black. But then the last two digits we're going to add will represent the transparency. So there we're going to put AA. Okay. So the value starts from zero. If you put zero, zero, that's completely uh, transparent. So if I, I show you here, you see that it's transparent completely. And then the maximum value is FF, which is fully opaque like this. But then there's in between. So the numbers start from zero up to nine. And then after nine, there's A, B, C, D up to F. So F is like 15. So let's try AA, which is 10. So let's refresh that. There we go. So we can see a little bit of the uh, background there, which is uh, pretty cool. So as you can see, we want this to appear when we click change profile. Okay, so, so far, so good. So let's see if we can trigger that very easily with uh, Java script. So we want it to begin not showing. So we're going to add display and say none. Display none. So if I refresh the page, won't see anything of that sort anymore now we want when someone clicks here instead of going to the other page we see that interface so we'll put it on change profile image because that's the one we have added so far so we're going to have two separate of these one for profile image and the other for cover image okay but let's trigger the let's go down here where the button for change cover and change profile image are so inside the a tag here at this point we're going to add some a trigger we're going to say on click so when something is clicked we're going to evoke a function now we're going to call this function show uh, change underscore profile uh underscore image it's quite long but uh just for clarity's sake then open bracket and type event this this word is very important in there because you have to capture the event so show change profile image so now we need to create this function so i'm going to go down here at the bottom of the page and then i'm going to put some script tags for some javascript okay and then down here i'm going to write function and then just paste that function there open close bracket like so so the function is show change profile image now we are supposed to have a corresponding hide so that we can hide it when we need to so i'll change it from show to hide now what would we do in here inside here we're going to create a variable called i'm just going to call it profile image you can call it anything you want but uh, shorter is better and then i'm going to ask the document I'm going to say document.get element get me this element using the id so by id open close bracket like that mm -hmm. now before i do this let me pause a little bit and go up here and give my uh, and give my div an id so i'll give it an id of uh let me just say change profile image change underscore profile underscore image like so so this is the id i'll copy that so the id should be unique so i can target it very specifically so let me go down here and say document dot get element by id so what's the id i wanted to get this one so what will happen is that that element is now represented by this word. So what I can now do is I can say profile image dot style dot display because you remember we added the display to none to make it invisible, but then we're going to bring it to block. Block is the default value. 
So let me do the same exact thing here, down here, but instead of giving it the ID of block, I'm going to give it a oh, display of none. So this function shows the thing, this function uh, closes the thing, okay? So let's go back and see if that actually works. So let me refresh the page and immediately I click change profile image. Okay, so it showed there for a second, but we are still moved to another page, which is not what we want. So what's happening is that we are, this is still a link. As much as I have added a, an on-click uh, thing, it is still a link which will lead me to another page, okay? So what we want to do is go to our function and tell it to prevent the default action. And we can do so because we are capturing this event. Now, event in this case contains the, whatever you clicked is contained in this event. So in this case, we clicked the A tag. So we're going to say event, which is representing the A tag, and we're going to tell it to prevent the default action. Just like that. Same thing here. Uh, we don't actually need to prevent default here because we're simply hiding it. Okay, so we'll leave it at that. So I'm going to refresh here and let's try again. Hit that. And now you see we are not moving to another page, which is good. Now you may ask why not just remove the A tag altogether? Well, sometimes uh, some devices do not handle JavaScript properly. So it's better to have that backup plan in case this JavaScript doesn't work, the user will be simply moved to another page to change the profile image. So it's better to leave it there. Right, so now once we are done with this, uh, things are looking good. Okay, now we need a different button for the cover image. So in order to do that, let's go and duplicate these values, these functions here. And then instead of where it says profile here, let me uh, control D, control D, control D, so that I can change everything at once. And I'll simply say cover, okay? So show change cover image, change cover image. That would be the, yeah. So we haven't created some of these things. So let me go up here and let's create those. So starting here where it says change profile image area, I'm going to duplicate all this up to its bottom here. Control shift D. Okay, now we have two of these things. So this one will be the cover. So I'm going to duplicate that as well and say cover. Change cover image, right? Now here, the image that's showing depends on the get variable, which we don't have in this case. So we know that this one is for the cover. Oh, sorry, there's an R missing here. There we go. Change cover. Oop. There we go. Change cover image, right? So we know this one is for the cover. So we're going to delete this one that shows the profile image instead. Delete everything here, like so. We don't need any of that. Okay, and then at the top here, since here we've left the cover one, here we're going to leave the profile one. So let me remove that. Okay, very good. And then let's go down here where we are triggering the uh, on-click listener here. Let me copy that and then paste it on the click. So I'll change this one to cover. So this one opens up the cover version. So let me refresh this and let's see what's happening. So let me click on profile image. There we go. Let me refresh the page and let me click on change cover. And there we go. Okay. So it seems to be working fine, but we can't escape from this. There's no way I can cancel this. So I want to use the escape key in order to cancel any of these. So now at this moment, I can only refresh. So in order to do that, let's utilize the functions that are down here for hiding these ones right here. So I want to be able to press the escape key and hide this thing using the escape key. So to do that, I will ask the window to check for any presses of the key. So I'll say window dot on key down. So there are many events you can use here. There's on key down, on key up, on key press, 
etc uh, etc et you can google those to find out more so i'm going to say is equal to function so this is an anonymous function here we're going to use and then we're going to pass in a value there that will represent the key that was pressed and then we'll do that so i'm going i want to it to show me what the key is that i have pressed so i'm simply going to add alert and then pass in key dot key code like so so i'm asking what key code show me alert will show will, will show a pop-up show me what the key code was that was pressed so here let's refresh the page and then let me just press a number and you see there we go the key that was pressed is not 68 but that's the key code so if i press escape the key code of it is 27. so what i want to do is come back here and ask the question i will change this to if key code is equal to 27 then i know that uh, the escape key was pressed escape key was pressed so what do i do when the escape key was pressed i'm simply going to uh, call these two functions now in this case since we are not calling these by clicking something i can remove the event here oh sorry i did that on the wrong thing i can remove the event on the hide version here so remove event on the hide we don't need it let me go to the hide and remove event there as well okay so i will copy this so when i press escape key i want it to shut down both of them regardless which one it is so i will put two functions there one for the profile one for the cover okay so let me refresh click change profile image press escape key and everything is functioning well press escape key okay so this one isn't working so in case you have an error you can right click and click on uh, inspect element and go to the console this is for firefox and you see here what's happening reference error hide change cover image is not defined so if i click on this it will show me exactly where uh, that's this one right here on the key code so there's an error here let me come back here this one it's saying it doesn't exist that's because i added an extra e at the end there so save and then let's refresh go to the cover change press escape key and everything is functioning now to make sure that uh, this is taking us to the correct place let's go back here to profile.php and if i go to right here on these keys that we were pressing to go to a different page you will notice that in order for you to know which one to change we had this question mark and change is equal to profile or change is equal to cover okay so let me copy one of these so i want when i hit the submit button on any of these two it should take me to those areas so this one is for the cover image right so i'll go to the form itself and add action now action tells the the uh the, the page where to take the data that was posted so in this case i want the data to come back to the profile page so i'm going to say profile.php but I need it to have that question mark which says change is equal to profile or cover. So since this is for the cover, we're going to say cover there. And then we'll copy this same thing that we've done and go at the top here and do it again and say action profile.php and then change is equal to profile. Like so. Change is equal to profile. Okay, so everything uh, seems uh, awesome from this point of view. Now, since we are not moving to another page, we need to bring that logic that actually posts the profile image. We need to bring it here onto the profile page, right? Now that was happening in the in this page, change profile image.php, but at the very top here, when someone posts something, this is what was going on here up to this point where is that up to here so what i want to do is copy all of this up to here and i want to take it to the profile.php page however 
there's already too much code in here so i don't want to mess things up as they are so what i want to do simply is to include a file so i'm going to create a new file here i'll add some php tags and then i'm going to paste that code okay then i'm going to save this file now I'll save this one as change underscore image you can give it any name you want dot php so it's change image save right and also i want to put an if statement here to make sure that this doesn't work unless there's a get variable with the name change in it and this is coming from the profile.php page let me show you down here because when we hit post here we're going to have this change variable in the get so we need to check for that to know that someone is actually trying to change the profile image so if let me put is set here like so if this is set close bracket there and the same thing right here is equal to profile or the same thing is equal to cover oh i need the inverted commas oops yes then we are good to go so this is supposed to happen if this is true or if any of these two is true so in order to make sure that these are evaluated at once i'm going to uh, select them and put them in brackets so that it's either this is true or this is true then this will run so let me put some brackets there and move this bracket from here i'm going to cut it and put it at the very bottom move it to the edge there we go so all this is the logic that is required in order to post uh change the profile image okay good so this is change image.php so i'll go to profile uh, dot php at the top here and include that file so we'll include it right here when something is posted mm -hmm. so we're going to say include change underscore image dot php like so so we've included that file which means we've included the logic now doing it this way is better because in case there's an error i simply go to this file and edit a limited amount of code instead of pasting the code directly here which will make this whole thing messy right so so far so good i think everything should be working by now so let's give it a go so let me refresh this and let's try and change the cover image change cover image let's browse for an image and right here let me select this one change and there we go the image has changed so let's change uh, oh that was the cover image escape so let's change the profile image as well let's browse and see if we can um, any of these uh, really doesn't really matter so change there we go everything seems to be working fine and you see the posts have also been created here as they are supposed to so this is how you change the profile image or cover image without actually moving to a different page but let's try and break this thing just to see uh, to make sure that there's nothing wrong so for example let me try and change the cover image but then let me click change without browsing for anything and so i get an error the following error happened please add a valid image etc etc and uh, everything seems uh, fine nothing was posted so we are good to go so this is how you actually do it to change a profile image or cover image let's try on the same page without moving to a different page now you can do this for any of those other things uh, other for example deleting uh, if you want to actually delete a post right here without going to another page you can do it exactly the same way 
you simply bring that other page here but you add a trigger to show it when you want and when you don't want to show it all right so i hope you have learned something useful from this tutorial and i will see you in another video